Okay, in this problem we're told that Speedy drives horizontally off of a cliff and he lands 30 meters away from the base of the cliff. We need to find how high the cliff is. So here's Speedy and Speedy has to drive a convertible because he has this huge head. And his hair is blowing back in the wind there. And we're given the initial velocity, V0. We know it's 15 meters per second and that's horizontal. He leaves the cliff horizontally. And we know he lands 30 meters away. So he goes in this parabolic path and hits the ground 30 meters away. So horizontally, let's set this up with this at zero and this at 30 meters. And that means that to the right, that direction is the positive direction. And we'll do the horizontal first here. Because we know all of this information horizontally, so we can start there. I know that the initial position is zero. The final position is 30. And I know that the acceleration is zero. Because in a projectile problem, the only acceleration is due to gravity, and gravity is down. So there's vertical acceleration, but there's no horizontal acceleration. And I also know the initial velocity is 15 meters per second, because that was given. And so the, the equation I'll use is distance is velocity times time. I don't have to set this up as V0t plus 1 half at squared, because the acceleration is zero. And I don't need to make a distinction between the initial velocity and the velocity because they're all the same. If there's no acceleration, then the velocity, horizontally at least, is the same the entire time. So this 15 meters per second is the velocity, the only velocity, when we're thinking about the horizontal motion. So we take this equation, we solve it for t. t is x over v, and I just put in the numbers, this is easy, 30 meters over 15 meters per second is two seconds. So, and that, that should strike you as basically obvious. If he's moving at 15 meters per second, then to go horizontally 30 meters, it must take two seconds. So we'll use that fact vertically now. We'll do the vertical motion next. Vertically, we now know the time. The time is two seconds. And we know the acceleration. The acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now in setting it up like this, I'm basically saying that down is the positive direction. And you should draw a little arrow somewhere with a, a plus sign next to it indicating which way you are setting this problem up, which way you're setting it up as positive, which direction is positive. And when I do this, then my initial height up here is going to be zero, and my final height y down here, that's what I'm looking for. That will be the height of the cliff. How high is the cliff? So my initial height is zero. My final height is unknown. That's what I'm trying to find. And I also know vertically that my initial velocity is zero. He leaves the cliff at 15 meters per second, but that's horizontal. This vector going to the right, representing his initial velocity, is not angled up or down at all. The vertical initial velocity is zero. Now with that in mind, I can set up this equation. y is y0 plus v0t plus 1 half at squared. And I can use that to find the height. The only thing that cancels out here is y0. And then let's just put in the numbers. v0, oh I'm sorry, the, the v0 cancels out also. v0 is 0, so let's cross that out. So this, this just becomes 1 half at squared and we can put in these numbers 1 half times 9.8 meters per second squared times the time which we found earlier as 2 seconds so it's 2 seconds squared and when you have this time 2 seconds squared the 2 and the seconds are both squared so this second right here is really a second squared and it cancels out with this second squared down here. So that's gone, and the units work out to have only meters remaining, which is what we would want for our height. So 1 half times 9.8 times 2 squared, and don't forget to square the 2, comes out to 19.6 meters.
so that's the height of the cliff.